Hi guys, it's Maura Paulette. Today we're going to be reading one of my favorite books. But before we start reading, I want to tell you what materials you need because after we read the book, we're going to do a little art activity. So you can pause the video now if you want to go get the stuff. I'm going to tell you what you need. So you will need either markers or crayons, whatever you have. You will need some, well, it depends what kind of paper you have. If you have white paper, that's fine. Or you can use some colored construction paper if you have. Whichever one is totally okay. You will need a glue stick or tape or stapler, anything that you have in your house that can help attach something. So either of these, you don't need both. And you will need some scissors. And I think that's it. And then I also got, because we're going to be making a circle, I got a plastic cup to help me trace the shape of a circle. But you don't need that. If you don't have it, that's okay. So you can pause the video either now or you can pause it after I'm done with the book and go get whatever you need. So the book that we're reading today is called Chrysanthemum. This is one of my favorite books, guys. Some of you might have read it before. Maybe your mom read it too. Maybe you read it last year. But even if you read it, it's a really good book. And it's such a fun thing to read great books over and over again. That's one of my favorite things to do. So I hope you enjoy this book. This book is called Chrysanthemum. And the author, which is the person who writes the words, is Kevin Hinkies. Okay, so I'll show you the cover quickly. You could try to think about what you think this book is about based on the cover. If you don't know this book already, who you think this girl is. She's holding on to a really big flower, it looks like. So let's see what this book is about. This book always reminds me of the springtime because of all the flowers in it. You guys will see. So I'm going to read the words and then I'll show you the pictures up close. So just be patient, okay, guys? The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Little baby. Her name must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father. And it was Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew. And when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. She loved the way it sounded when her, when her mother woke her up. She loved the way it sounded when her father called her for dinner. And she loved the way it sounded when she whispered it to herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. And she loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on her birthday cake. And she loved the way it looked when she wrote it herself with her fat orange crayon. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum thought her name was absolutely perfect. And then she started school. On the first day, Chrysanthemum wore her sunniest dress and her brightest smile. She ran all the way. Hooray, said Chrysanthemum. School. She's so excited. But when Miss Chud took roll call, roll call is like another way to say attendance, guys. Everyone giggled upon hearing Chrysanthemum's name. Oh no, how do you think that made her feel, guys? Well, you could actually see from the picture. She's over there. Look at her face. She looks kind of sad. Maybe embarrassed. Why were they laughing at her name? It's so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on your name tag, said Rita, pointing. Scarcely, guys, is another word for it barely fits. I named after my grandma, said Victoria. You're named after a flower. So, guys, chrysanthemum is a type of flower. Just like Victoria said. Chrysanthemum wilted. Wilted is usually a word that we used to describe flowers. Like when they're like going to die and they start like going like this and bending down. But it, they're using it to describe her here. Because she looks like she's not so happy. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. 
The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and informed Miss Chud that Chrysanthemum's name was spelled with 13 letters. That's exactly half as many letters as there are, as there are in the entire alphabet, Victoria explains. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Miss Chud. Now please put your head down. If I had a name like yours, I'd change it, Victoria said, as the students lined up to go home. I wish I could, Chrysanthemum thought miserably. Well, I don't know why they're being so mean. It's really making her feel bad. And I think it's a beautiful name. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. My name is too long. It scarcely fits on my name tag. And I'm named after a flower. Oh, pish, said her mother. Your name is beautiful. And precious and priceless and fascinating and winsome, said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. Absolutely perfect, said her father. Does she think her name is absolutely perfect, guys? Not anymore. Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup, and an evening filled with hugs and kisses and parcheesi. I don't know what parcheesi is, but I'm looking at the picture. I'm going to guess it's the name of the game. Looks like they're playing a board game. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane. It was an extremely pleasant dream. The next morning, Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as slowly as she could. She dragged her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. She even looks like a flower, said Victoria, as Chrysanthemum entered the playground. Let's pick her, said Rita, pointing. Let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. Wow, well, they're really not being so kind to her. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and said, a chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in a garden with worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Miss Chud. Now put your head down. I just cannot believe your name, Victoria said, as the students lined up to go home. Neither can I, thought chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. They said I even looked like a flower. They pretended to pick me and smell me. Oh, pish, said her mother. They're just jealous and envious and begrudging and discontented and jaundiced, said her father. Who wouldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said her mother. After all, it's absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt a trifle better after her favorite dessert, chocolate cake with buttercream frosting, and another evening filled with hugs and kisses and parcheesi. Hugs always make everything better. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a chrysanthemum. She sprouted leaves and petals. Victoria picked her and plucked the leaves and petals one by one until there was nothing left but a scrawny stem. Scrawny is like a word for another word for like a little skinny thin stem. It was the worst nightmare of Chrysanthemum's life. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit with seven pockets the next morning. She loaded the pockets with her most prized possessions and her good luck charms. Chrysanthemum took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, 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 the flower seemed to say. Why do you guys think she's taking the longest way possible to school? I have an idea. Maybe she's really dreading school. She's not excited because she knows that the girls in her class aren't, might not be so kind to her. That morning, the students were introduced to Mrs. Twinkle, the music teacher. Her voice was something out of a dream, as was everything else about her. The students were speechless. They thought Mrs. Twinkle was an indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make a nice impression on her. That's her, Mrs. Twinkle, the teacher. She's the music teacher. Mrs. Twinkle led the students in scales. Then she assigned roles for the class musical. 
Victoria was chosen as the dainty fairy queen. Rita was chosen as the spiffy butterfly princess. Joe was chosen as the all-important pixie messenger. And Chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. Chrysanthemum's a daisy, chrysanthemum's a daisy, Joe, Rita, and Victoria ch chanted, thinking it was wildly funny. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. What's so humorous, said Mrs. Twinkle. Chrysanthemum was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on her name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. She's named after a flower. My name is long, said Mrs. Twinkle. It is, said Joe. My name would scarcely fit on a name tag, said Mrs. Twinkle. It would, said Rita, pointing. And, said Mrs. Twinkle, I'm named after a flower, too. You are, said Victoria. Yes, said Mrs. Twinkle. My name is Delphinium. Delphinium Twinkle. And if my baby is a girl, I'm considering chrysanthemum as a name. I think it's absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her ears. She blushed, she beamed, she bloomed. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Guys, look at the picture. How do you think she feels now? The music teacher also has a long name. That's all, and she's also named after a flower. And she even said she liked chrysanthemum's name so much that if, she, if her baby is a girl when it's born, she might name it chrysanthemum. She really looks happy. Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at Chrysanthemum longingly. Call me Marigold, said Joe. That's another type of flower. I'm Carnation, said Rita, pointing. Carnation is another type of flower. My name is Lily of the Valley, said Victoria. They all want to have names like flowers now. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She knew it. And she's so happy, guys. Oh, this says epilogue. This is like what happened after. Overall, the class musical was a huge success. Chrysanthemum was absolutely perfect as a daisy. Victoria made only one mistake. She completely forgot her lines as the dainty fairy queen. Chrysanthemum thought it was wildly funny, and she giggled throughout the entire dance of the flowers. Eventually, Mrs. Twinkle gave birth to a healthy baby girl. And of course, she named her Chrysanthemum. I, I love this book so much. I think the reason why I love it is because when I was younger, I didn't like my name so much either. I don't know why. Maybe I thought it was too long. Maybe it took me too long to write. But then as I got older, I don't know what happened. I just really, I love my name so much now. So I think that's maybe why I really love this book. But it's really, it's a great book. So now, guys, I want to do a fun little activity with you. I want to see how many letters are each of your names. So actually, in our class in K2, I know you might not be from K2 if you're watching this, but in our class, we actually made a graph in our class during one of our Zoom sessions. Which, ha which had how many letters on everyone's name. And we, si we saw how many letters most people in the class had in, our na in their names. And in our class, there were the number, I think five had the most, was the, was the number that most people's let names had. Five letters, I think. So I wanna see how many letters are in your name. So let's, let's try to see. So I'm gonna take a paper. I'll take my whiteboard over here. You could take a paper if you're not sure. So if, if you're not sure, you could write your name down and count your letters, or you could count it on your fingers and spell it, or if you know, that's great. So I'm going to do mine quickly. P-A, my name is Maura Paulette, guys, for those of you who don't know me yet. P-A-U-L-E-T-T-E. -E. So my name is actually also kind of a long name. It's not 13 letters, but, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight letters in my name. Great. So now that I know that I have eight letters in my name, I want to make our own flowers with you guys. And watch what we're going to do. It's really cool. So, and also it depends that we had to find out how many letters you have in your name because that's how many petals are going to go on your flower. So, I am first going to take, I have some construction paper. So I'm going to take, um, now I'm making the middle part of the flower, the circle. So I want to have a red flower, okay? So I'm gonna take a red paper, and I'm gonna take a cup, a plastic cup, and I'm gonna use the bottom to trace it so I can make a good circle. So 
I'm not sure if I'm going to be so good at making a circle, but if you guys don't have a cup, it's really okay. Just do your best. Try to make the best circle you can. Okay, so this is my circle. Okay, guys? And now I am going to cut it out. I'm going to take my scissor. I'm going to do the best I can. You know, sometimes cutting can be a little challenging for some of us. But do your best. It's okay. Everyone's flowers are going to come out beautiful. Okay. I have my circle. If you need a little more time, you can definitely pause this video until you're done cutting your circle. So this is my circle. And in the middle of the circle, you are going to write your name. So I'm going to write my name. Pull up. P-A-U-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Awesome. So this is what your circle should look like with your name in the middle. Perfect. Now, we are going to make a stem for the flower. So what color? Are, what colors are stems usually, guys? Right, they're green. So we are going to take either a green paper if you have. If you don't have green, then you could take a white paper and color it in with a green marker. That's also perfectly fine. So I'm going to trace a stem onto my paper. So this is what my stem was going to look like. I'll show you in a minute. If yours looks a little different, that's okay. All flowers look a little different. So I made like a little squiggly line with two leaves on it. And I'm going to try to cut it out the best I can. And that's going to be my stem. So let's cut it out. Take my scissor. Try to make, when you're making your stem, try to make your leaves like a little bit on the bigger side. The bigger they are, the easier it'll be for you to cut them out. I made mine a little small. So it might be a little hard, but I'm going to do my best. If you make them a little bigger, it'll be easier. Okay. Okay. So this is my stem. Again, guys, if you need more time to cut it out, that's totally okay. You can definitely pause it if you need to and unpause it when you're ready. So here's oh, the black. This is my stem. And I am going to glue. I have glue or tape. Or you can use a stapler if you don't have either of those. Either one. I'm going to use glue. And I'm going to put some glue on the tip of my stem. Like this. You can't see it because it's a glue stick. But I put it on the tip of the stem. And then, not on the whole thing, guys. Just on the top. And then I'm going to attach it. I'm going to turn my circle over. The, the part that doesn't have my name. That, that side. And I'm going to stick it to the back. And then when I turn it around, see, it looks like this. Okay. So stick it to the back part, the part that doesn't have your name on it. Okay, our flower is looking good. Now the next step, which is the most important step for our activity, is we have to make some petals. So guys, you have two options. You can either make the number of petals in your name. So I have eight, well, you can make, I meant the number of letters in your name. So I'm going to make eight petals because I have eight letters. Or some of you might not have so many letters. I know some people have three letters in their name. Some people have four letters in their name. And if you want to have more petals on your flower, that's okay. You can make more. And then I'm going to show you what to do. So we see how many letters there are. So I'm going to make some petals. I'm going to make my petals green. Since I already used my green paper, I don't want to waste so much of it. So this is how I'm going to make a petal. You guys can make help petals however you want. There's so many different types of petals on flowers. My petals are going to look like this. And then I'm going to stick them all around the flower. I'm going to cut them out. So they're going to look like this. So I'm going to make eight of these. There's also petals sometimes that look like this that are like a little bit pointier on the edges like this. So really my petal actually, I just noticed, looks like an uppercase D. So if that's easier for you guys, you can make, but it's kind of like backwards actually. You guys can make backwards uppercase Ds if that's easier for you. Or you could make the pointy ones, whatever you want, whatever. You could make up your own type of petal. So I'm going to make eight of these because I want mine to be round. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to show you guys. Seven, eight. Okay, so this is what my petals look like. 
It's okay if they're not all exactly the same size. Mine not be. Mine might not be. Some of mine might be a little bigger than the others. That's okay. And then after you make your petals, you can cut them out. And I know I said before that if you make the things bigger, it'll be easier for you to cut out. Just make sure you don't make them too big because we want it to still fit around your circle, the flower, especially for those of us who have longer names. Hope mine fits. That will work something out. So take your time now to make your petals and cut them out. That's what I'm doing. And if you finish before I do, because maybe you have less letters in your name, you can start gluing the petals to your flower, to the edges around the circle. Okay. Everyone's working so nicely. I can't wait to see everyone's flowers. And guys, you could even do like all colorful petals. You could do like petals that are every color. You could do patterns. It's a great idea also actually that I just thought of. Or you can do all the same color. It's really your choice, your flower. Okay, a few more. Okay, my last one. And guys, don't worry if you're not working as quick as I am or if you need a little bit more time. I am reminding you that you can always pause the video and unpause it when you're ready, okay? That's the best part about YouTube videos. You could pause them and unpause them. Okay, so I have my eight petals all over here. So now I am going to start pasting them around, oops, around my flower part, around the circle. I hope they all fit, but I'm gonna start at the bottom so I know, try to, to try to make sure they all fit. And I'm gonna put glue on it. Okay. So I'm gonna put glue on the edge and just, like I did with the stem, I'm gonna glue it to the back so that it sticks out like this, okay? So put a little bit of glue on the edge and then just stick it to the back. And guys, it doesn't matter which side you did it because we didn't write any anything on the petals yet. So either side is fine. Okay. So I'm a little worried that my petals aren't going to fit. Maybe they will. So I'm like overlapping them a little bit. Do you guys know what that means? Like I'm making them like, I'll show you. I'm not leaving really any space between the petals, you see? Because I really want to make I really want to try to make sure they fit, but if not, it'll be okay. So far I did four, so we're looking like it should be fine. But if you have a longer name, like I know more Jacqueline's name has ten letters. So she might have to really squeeze them together. And chrysanthemum might need a bigger circle because she really has a long name. She has 13 letters in her name. It looks like I'm going to fit. Okay. Okay, I'm up to my last one. Okay, let me just count to make sure I have enough that I got all of mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So now, like I said before, if you have like only three or four letters in your name, which I know a lot of us might have, you can still make, if you want your flower to look like it has more petals than, than three or four, three or four is fine, but if you want more, you can still do more. And then what we're gonna do now is we're writing, we're gonna write the letters of our, of our name, one letter in every petal. So I'm gonna show you. So I have eight letters, so I'm gonna start over here, I'm gonna make a P and then I'm gonna go A U L E T T E. So let's do that. P A U L E T T E. 
So now let's say my name only had three letters or four letters. So then I could just, if I choose to make more petals, I could just write my letters on the four middle ones or the four ones over here or the three ones over here. And if I still want to make more petals around it, just because I like making petals, I can. So that's your choice, what you want to do if you have a shorter name. And if you have a longer name, then you'll probably fill up all the petals around it. So guys, this is my flower. And I'm also going to make actually an eight under my name to remind me that I have eight letters in my name. See you guys? And you guys can do whatever you want with this flower. You can hang it up in your windows, maybe for springtime, since it's getting so nice outside. Or you can keep it in your room. You can do whatever you want with it. Put it on your fridge. And I hope you guys send me pictures. I really want to see. I want to see how everyone's flowers come out. I want to see what color petals everyone chooses to use and what color flowers everyone makes. And I hope you guys send us pictures. I can't wait to see. And I hope you enjoyed this book. I love this book. And I hope you enjoyed this activity today. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.